All right, it will not happen. So let's switch towards seventh gear. Oh, even more ninth gear. Oh, right, tenth gear, <laughs> and we are good. Let's go. Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tempest is here today as we continue playing our Euro Truck Simulator. I found another great route for us that is gonna head towards our Norway, which we did not have a chance to explore. And by some miracle, this route is still available to us, as you can see. Where is it? We are now in Grimsby. I was planning to go to Scotland, explore UK a little bit, but um, I just wanna finish my unfinished business and complete my Scandinavian DLC. Uh, we've been traveling through Sweden for a while now as you can see it's been like one two three four five cities are open already so we had our fair share of Sweden we even saw Denmark uh, a little bit of Denmark though uh, but we've never actually set our foot to Norway and today ladies and gentlemen we have this chance as you can see we can transport fertilizer, 20 tons by the way, 20 tons of fertilizer. It's going to be a very heavy burden for our Mercedes. It's got its chance to prove itself. And we will be heading again. We're going to go to Hull City. Then we'll take a ferry from there till Esbjerg here. And we'll be traveling through Denmark all the way here. Again, another ferry in Hirsch <laughs> Hirschels. And all the way towards our destination in Bergen. So basically, our trip today is going to be a little bit, little bit of UK and mostly we're going to be traveling through Denmark. Let's go. I'm going to have to recollect everything all over again. Don't forget you're in UK Tempest. This is the right way to go. Alrighty. And our first red light. So, yep. Enjoying UK so far. <laughs> Not even one accident. Awesome. Turn left. There you go. We arrived to our depot. Let's take our cargo while it's there. While it's there, we take a job and we prepare for a very long journey now. There you go. By the way, uh, I've noticed that truck accelerates so fast, almost like a sports car, while it doesn't have any. Um, cargo on a manual transmission especially whenever you uh, switch them at the right RPMs you get an incredible torque incredible acceleration let's go and pick this up very carefully all right it should work fine Ding! let's attach our cargo and we are ready one thing I regret is that we still don't have any beacons. Even though we don't need them, but I'm sure we will be needing them very soon. Just take a look at this cargo, guys. It just suits my coloring so well. Look at my truck. Green and red. I love it. I love it. Alright, now that everything is well, we are ready to head towards our destination with our 20 tons of fertilizer. Let's go ahead and... Damn it! Why do I press this button all the time? All right, fourth gear is fine whenever we have such a heavy burden behind us. So let's go. All right, it says we're gonna spend 43 hours and 55 minutes on our way towards, uh, what's the city? It's, I think it's the Berman, Ber Berman or Burden, something like that. Uh, we'll be heading there for quite a while now. This is UK again. Oh my gosh, I always forget. I gotta play more on these roads. And there you go, our Iveco dealership. Our poor Iveco dealership. All right, loan installment, that's so awesome. <laughs> We've gotta pay 8,000. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. I cannot see that. No. Sequential transmission seems like the best fit for me now. I can't even imagine going back to the manual one. Oh, damn it, automatic one. And uh, yeah, it's U turn on UK roads is even more dangerous. Yay, we managed it. It wasn't hard, it's the left turn here. So, yeah, we are heading and we are on our way to 
no, I gotta check this out. I always forget. I wanna know the name of the city. I always forget it, by the way. The name of the city is Bergen. I was almost right when I said Burden. <laughs> All right, Bergen is fine. And this is 48, 50 km, 80, 80 km limit on this road. It's not bad. And yeah, I think that the visuals in Mercedes could have been better. But other than that, I do not have any complaints. I just do not regret buying it. If you remember, guys, on my first episode when I had my Mercedes Benz, I was so, so uh, disappointed with the braking system of this truck. But after playing for a while, for two more episodes with my Mercedes here, I can definitely say that Mercedes doesn't have any braking problems now. And uh, maybe that was just one time thing. Maybe it was due to the automatic um, transmission. I don't know. I don't know. Something caused it. Didn't like it. Had to fix it. It's been fixed. Maybe the new patch fixed it. I don't know. Mysterious thing happened. But I'm happy it happened. And while we are at it, let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and prepare for the left turn, which is easy here again. Shouldn't be very hard. Here you go, our left turn. And let's switch towards neutral gear. That's like so, so that we can brake easier and prepare for the full stop, which might happen. Or might never happen, I don't know. I'm used to the full stops here. Alright, it will not happen. So let's switch towards 7th gear. Oh, even more. 9th gear. Alright, 10th gear. <laughs> and we are good. Let's go. Alright, even 11th one. So I shouldn't have switched, I guess. Anyways, I like switching to the neutral... Damn it, why am I... Alright, they're, they're off now. Alright, I like switching towards uh, neutral gear. Because then... I feel like I don't have to go to the lower gears, like go all the way from 12th till 4th. It's faster to switch from neutral to 4th, because uh, that way I prepare for the full stop. In this case, it's a very bad scenario, I guess. Wasn't a good showcase, but, but I wonder how long is left till our Hull City here. Or is it the right way now? I don't know what my navigator is doing. What is happening? Oh my gosh, look at that. My truck is having trouble climbing this hill here. Even It's not a hill. It's a small slope. I won't even call it a hill, but left turn is not right turn. Damn it, you are in UK Tempest. What the hell? Don't embarrass yourself all over again. Alright, that's nice. That is not is. But I like how well my Mercedes handles the 20 ton cargo. I don't I know it's not a 30 ton cargo or anything like that, but still 20 is quite heavy. And my Mercedes handles it with dignity. At least on 11th gear we are able to travel on these tricky roads and everything seems to work fine for us. As you can see, our fuel consumption increased dramatically. And our first turn to the right that is going to be tricky. All right, stop. Don't move, guys. Don't move. Don't move. Stop. Stop. Good boy, Scania. And to the left. Awesome. Just like I planned it. And yes, 10th um, gear, 9th gear now. And it's fine. We still have nine, 1,960 kilometers packed into our tank. So we should be good um, delivering at least three more cargoes depending on the distance of course maybe even four I bet we have three at least without any need for refuel oh my gosh this is too fast this is this 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 was dumb I was thinking about my gear shift and now and now I could have paid dearly for that thankfully did not happen again fourth gear fourth gear alrighty Oh my gosh, if there was a real gear shifting system, I guess I'd break it already 20 times. Alright, now we should be good traveling towards Asperg here. 
That's all right. It's gonna take us 19 hours to get there, and we're gonna pay 1,300. That's a uh, that's a very dear price to pay, especially considering that uh, we're gonna get only 15,000 for the whole rule. I guess we're gonna be paying around 1,000 here as well. So that uh, that is minus 2,000 already. I know, but still, we have a chance to return to the Scandinavian um, territory in one go. That's what I like about it. That's what I like about this trip. I did not expect to go there so fast. I was thinking it's gonna take us longer to get back to the Scandinavian adventure. I was even thinking we're gonna go towards Scotland just to explore UK a little bit more. Maybe we'll have a chance to go there. Let me know guys if you wanna see that. But for now I wanna finish um, exploring Norway as we haven't even touched the territory. We will be traveling a little bit here, a little bit in Sweden. Maybe we'll even touch Poland. Yeah, it takes us a bit longer to switch from gear to gear as our burden is heavier. Uh, but nevertheless, it's very quick, especially um, anywhere in between 4th and ninth gear, I find it super duper like frustrating to switch very fast. Uh, from 9 till 12, it's fine, it's decent, like in any normal car. So I guess um, trucks engines were made for very heavy. Uh, cargos, that's the way you control different uh, slopes, hills, and uh, any other obstacles on your way. So like, like for example right now, you can see uh, we are trying to handle this slope on the 11th gear, but we cannot do so, and automatic transmission would leave it at that, but we have a chance to go towards 10th gear now, and look at that, we are going so much faster. And now we can switch to the 11th gear. That's gonna give us a little bit of a boot. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Neutral gear. And we are turning left. Oh my gosh. That is bad. That is bad. I was thinking. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna readjust. Don't worry about it, guys. It's gonna take me like 15 minutes now. And one of you guys asked me if I skip anything, any fines anything like that. No, I don't skip anything. I just don't show boring moments of my trip, I guess. I just show you something that happens. Uh, that's something that is, that is interesting, the actual progress. And look at that, we've got workers over there. How awesome is that? I think I can even take screenshot with them. How awesome would that be? Let's try that. That would be very cool. Come on, Red Signal, what the hell is wrong with you? Lucas brought us a little bit of cash. Hopefully, he did level up. And for some reason, we're getting more money now, 18,000. Even though Lucas brought only 500. That is, uh, that is uh, something weird, I guess. I guess Madison is earning like crazy. I don't know, I want to check it out. Because she is bringing us... 1,000 euros a day while Lucas is bringing not much less I guess 985 euros I underestimated Lucas oh my gosh Lucas is resting now come on mate why are you resting balanced he's still on balance and uh, I don't know why he doesn't level up I thought he should have leveled something up by now nothing nothing he has nothing and uh, Madison is bringing us more money every day, I guess. It's a very bad idea to take those kind of trips through the channels if you have a huge loan. Because you are wasting incredible amount of money. And in our case, we have humongous loan. So we cannot do that. But I had to do that. I knew the consequences, of course. But I had to do that because I desperately wanted to return where we left off to view possible travel destinations, press enter. We need to go to Bergen. That's our actual place of delivery. So let's embark. Alrighty, how awesome is that? We've made it to Bergen. And now the only thing that is left for us to do is to deliver this cargo. It's only 16 kilometers away. We should be good. Shouldn't take us a long time to get there. And that's it. Sadly, that's it for this episode. 
In the next episode, guys, we will be exploring Norway. We've explored quite a bit of Denmark this time. I've seen new things. I enjoyed them so far. And in the next one, we can see and explore Norway. Just take a look at how Norway is different from Denmark. Take a look at it. I'm loving it. I would love to check out the new uh, cities as well and the Going East expansion which they've added with the new 1.19 update. But uh, we cannot do everything I guess, we gotta have to wait a little bit. Uh, after Norway, maybe we'll have a chance to go there, but Scandinavian DLC is my priority for now, I just wanna see everything, at least 70% of the whole land that is available to us. And uh, yeah, that's it probably. We are almost there. Uh, Bergen is here. I'm loving the new scenery. Look at the rock here. It is solid. Mountain is amazing. It's not even a mountain. It's some sort of a hill. Looks cool anyways. And yeah, we're almost there. By the way, just take a look at it. Maybe it's... Uh, yeah, I don't see it, but... No, it's just one city. For one second there, I thought that there are two cities nearby. It's just a copy of the navigator I see. Let's just, you know what? I wonder if we should go left here and explore just a little bit. Alright, let's go. Let's go and explore a little bit. Because I want to check these places out. This should be our recruitment agency. Awesome. Happy with that. And there is also one drug dealership which I want to open up as well. All right, there you go. I love these small cities. Norway, Norway looks so unique. Hope you agree with me, guys. It looks super unique. Please don't bump into me. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna bump into you. No. Oh, I'm gonna bump into this. Oh my god! Thankful I did not damage anything. But that was close. So far, so good. Beautiful, beautiful scenery, people <laughs> on the bridges, I love it. Whoa, these, look at this tunnel here, it is definitely something new. It is not me, I'm sure this tunnel is completely different from what we are used to. It is Norwegian tunnel, Norwegian tunnel here, and I'm loving it. It is different, let's face it. Let's face it. Alright, next turn to our right. And we are done. That's probably... That's probably... It. Yep, should be here. There you go. Guys, who ordered fertilizer? It is here. And I damn as hell hope that our delivery has been perfect because I don't want to hear that that stupid thing caused collision because it did not I saw that it went perfectly well nothing wrong with that I did, did not bump into that truck and if you're gonna say it's good or it's satisfactory you are just cheating on me game alright you know what this time I'll try to park from the cabin itself without um, cheating with the third uh, third person view camera. All, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. It's gonna take me a lot of time, but in the end, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm sure. All right, just like so. Yep, totally missing. Oh my gosh, I missed it. I missed it again. Yep, if only it was there, right? All right, again. All right, it took me a couple of tries now. I should be able to do that. Should be able to do that this time, just like so. I think it should go perfectly well from this position. If it won't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do if it won't go well. I'm gonna cry. All right, please truck. Just like so. 
loving it. I'm loving should go well without any. Yup, it's done. Take a look at it. It is perfect. My first try from the cabin went perfect. Alrighty. Now that we've delivered this fertilizer, it's time to see if our delivery has been successful. Perfect. Or maybe worse. Let's see. Disconnecting trailer and... Can you freaking imagine that? How is it reasonable? I did not bump my trailer even one. Damn it. Where did I bump my trailer? Did I bump my trailer? Don't think so. I shouldn't have. That encounter with the truck was so light. I didn't even touch it. Barely. And that cost me 10% of my cargo. That's just unrealistic. What the hell? That would have never happened in real life. But what can we do? It's just only, only 10,000. It's not bad, I guess. Uh, considering that we've returned to the Scandinavia. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. And let's go. By the way, look at that. We've leveled up. I'm gonna go for just-in-time delivery that's gonna drastically increase the amount of uh, cargoes available. To, not drastically, I'm just exaggerating. Anyways, it's gonna increase our amount of cargoes that, that are available to us. So let's go ahead and purchase that, apply, and just see what is gonna be, able, uh, gonna be available to us in the future. Just wanna quickly check it out, job market. Freight, freight market and let's see let's see what is available from Bergen itself let's see uh, we've got no fragile cargoes not just no just in time deliveries I mean because that's what that's what we just leveled up we don't have anything from that but we have some decent options I guess something to Hamburg nope no Hamburg we want to travel Norway so yeah, I'm gonna find something in the next episode, for the next episode, something in Norway, something in Sweden, maximum in Denmark, I guess. And yeah, I thank you for watching this episode. Um, don't forget to leave your comment. I always appreciate your, your comments, guys. And as usual, leave like there is no tomorrow. Bye-bye.